the national president of the rebels MC, Damien Vela, appeared at the Penrith court in NSW last week, charged with resisting and hindering police officers in carrying out their duties. Vela was charged in December 2021 at Silverdale, when he was stopped by police riding his Harley Davidson with his fiancée. Two officers of the Raptor squad, Constable Stephen Norris and Senior Constable Alexander Brimfield stopped the couple to check for the roadworthiness of the motorbike they were riding. At the time of this incident Vela was in his club colors. He was wearing a sleeveless leather vest and Rebels undershirt displaying Rebels insignia. He followed police instructions and stopped for the check. On inspection the officers found that the Harley had no reflectors and went ahead to issue a red defective notice, which meant that the bike could not be ridden until the defects were fixed. They also issued a vehicle defect notice. According to the rules, a police officer can stop anyone for a random roadside inspection. If police suspects or identifies that your vehicle doesn't comply with the road safety rules then they can issue a defect notice and put a yellow or red sticker on the vehicle. A yellow label means a minor fault and a red label means a serious fault. Damien Vela at that time was subject to a firearm prohibition order, therefore the officer asked him to hand over the vest so he could check it for weapons. When Vela did not immediately surrender the vest, the constable deployed the OC spray, discharging its irritant matter into his eyes. Vela copped an eyeful of OC spray after allegedly refusing to hand over his bikey colors to a Raptor squad officer. Damien Vela was then handcuffed and charged with resisting and hindering police. Vela is now fighting these charges. Through his lawyers he said that the defects in the motorbike were minor defects and not major ones, which meant that the officer should have issued a yellow notice and not a red one. Furthermore, defense argued that the officers used unreasonable force in using the OC spray and in handcuffing the subject, they also used robust language. Referring to officers' acts and body-worn video footage, which captured the entire incident. His lawyers argued that the officers used unnecessary force and profanity towards Vela. In his response to the allegations, the constable said that at that time in Silverdale, the rebels and the Finks were in conflict. And the officer thought that this would be reason that Vela would carry weapons either for self-defense or to attack. The area has traditionally been rebels territory, and Finks were moving in, which was causing substantial issues. He further added, that a possible fight was organized between two clubs, which the rebels did not attend, this also raised his suspicions. In addition, he understood through his training, that the clubs are involved with violence, weapons and crime. The officer denied that his language was inappropriate and said that the force was required to handcuff Vela as he was holding his arms in a way that would hinder officers in carrying out their duties. Case has been adjourned until January 24 next year. Damien Vela, also known as Big D, became the Rebels national president after former national president Alex Vela, was stranded in Malta. Alessio Emmanuel Vela, known as the Maltese Falcon, is the renowned leader of the Rebels MC, Australia's largest biker club. Despite having lived in Australia since the 1960s, he is not a citizen of the country. In 2014 Vela visited his friends and family in Malta, and while he was there, his residency visa was cancelled by the Australian Minister for Immigration and Border Protection. Vela tried to appeal in the High Court in October 2015, but was not permitted. Since then the reins of the club have lied in the hands of Damien Vela. The biggest criminal activity, it's not in the bikies. It's a white collar and a tie. The, the Minister for Immigration of Australia yes. has repealed uh, your have yes. visa to, to re-enter yes. Australia. It, Do you know the exact reason why? It comes of... under Section 501. It's a case I fought in the past, in the High Court, and I won. When I tried to be a Australian citizen, uh, they said to me, you got seven days to leave the country. I said, leave the country? I've got 41 people working for me. Um, so I went to my lawyer, he said, this is a serious case here. We took it to the High Court and I won. I won because I went to Australia before 1973 and 74. We were with the Commonwealth when I went to Australia. So they could not tell me to leave the country. But this time, I was outside the door and they shut the door behind me. It's a joke.